Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I want to tell you today about a recent event in the news that didn't get a lot of exposure, unfortunately, so I want to make sure that you know about it. And that is that um, some students from a university in Massachusetts, Leslie University, uh, actually uh, won a case with the Justice Department and the situation was that uh, these college students had celiac disease and Leslie University was um, their protocol basically was that if you were a student you were mandatorily uh, enrolled in their food program. The problem was that their dining hall it did not at all cater to a gluten-free diet in any way, shape, or form, and students were getting sick, and so they were in the quandary of if they were living on campus, they were, you know, they had to go to the dining hall, um, or at least had to pay for it for that matter, uh, or they had to move off campus, which, you know, is not, is not the easiest thing in the world. So what occurred was that through the American Disabilities Act, uh, there were some changes in that a few years ago, uh, the Justice Department ruled in favor of the students and this university is now um, agreeing to have gluten-free friendly foods offered to the students. They're taking uh, measures to make sure there's no contamination of the food, etc., etc. Uh, so once again, this didn't get a lot of press. It's just this one university. There is no blanket kind of law that has occurred for all colleges uh, in the country by any, by any stretch. It's just the one, uh, but it's very important precedent. So now you, you have a precedent uh, behind you if you wish to help any students in uh, universities who are having similar problems. I know uh, with my particular family, my three children uh, chose to go to an amazing boarding school. Uh, it was kind of the upper level of, of our local junior high here, and uh, it was an amazing, amazing school. But when my son first went uh, 12 years ago, um, their cafeteria was certainly nothing that had uh, any gluten-free friendly uh, options and there was a lot of cross-contamination and it was my major stopping point. I really wanted my children to be able to get this education but uh, I absolutely said that it was not going to happen until they made some changes and fortunately I like to cook and it was a small enough school that uh, they were willing to let me talk with the chef and we discussed how you can thicken soups and sauces uh, entirely gluten-free. Uh, we got them gluten-free bread options, et cetera, et cetera. Um, my children had things in the freezer there that they could always have a go-to uh, type of starch if there was nothing available. And, um, and really the nice thing that happened, and because my children are older now, they're in their 20s, uh, I know for a fact specific children, now adults, who because my children were gluten-free and this became aware, uh, became available at the school, awareness increased, discussions occurred, and many, many uh, young people now understand that they have a gluten intolerance or celiac disease and their health has vastly improved, including the health of their family. So this is how that sort of thing occurs, is just the awareness is there, the availability is there, people are curious, especially if they're not feeling well, um, and there you go, you've made a big difference in somebody's life. So um, the reason I wanted to bring this up today was, was, number one, we do now have a formal precedent in law, which is terrific, and it's something that you can use to, to make some inroads in schools uh, for your children or for relatives, etc., people you care about and uh, it's, it's some good knowledge, good data, and certainly, you know, awareness is uh, vastly increasing in the area of gluten, but we still have a long way to go, and these schools really never gave it a thought that they had a mandatory um, food program, but didn't cater at all to any food allergies or, or food sensitivities. So, uh, I hope this is helpful for some of you, arms you with some good information that you can go out and and uh, create some benefit with. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. I do love to hear from you. And until next time, I wish you very good health.